Hi guys, this video today is just going to be a short one uh, working out how we calculate the mass of a substance and what we're going to be using is this equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass okay so the previous video um, you hopefully looked at looked at how we calculate the number of moles and in that one I talked about how we calculate molar mass so what I'm going to do um, today is I'm just going to go through a couple of them quick all right, so for example, if we've got six moles, and remember the mole is a measure of unit, uh, sorry, is, is a unit of measurement, um, we've got six moles of calcium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the molar mass over here. So the molar mass of calcium carbonate is going to be adding in the calcium, um, which is um, 40.078. We're going to be adding in one lot of carbon, which is 12.01, and we're going to be adding in three lots of oxygen, which is 15.999. So when you add all those together, you get a molar mass of 100.085 grams per mole. Then to calculate the mass, very simply, you do number of moles times molar mass. So we've got six moles, which we got from up here. We multiply that by the molar mass of 100.085, and you get a mass of 600.51 grams. Okay, so if we had six moles of calcium carbonate, that is equivalent to 600.51 grams, or just over half a kilo. Right. Okay, now we're going to look at another one. So this time we're going to be looking at 0 0.25 moles of, we're going to be using uh, just this made up organic species here, so C6H10O2N. All right. So we need to use the formula, mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So again, the first thing we want to calculate is molar mass. So you've got six lots of carbon, which is 12.01. You've got 10 lots of hydrogen, which is 1.008. You've got two lots of oxygen, which is 15.999. And you've got one lot of nitrogen, which is 14.007. So if you add all of those up to get the molar mass, you get a molar mass of 128. 0.145. So to calculate mass, we take number of moles, which is 0 0.25. We multiply that by the molar mass of 128.145, and we get a mass of 32.04 grams. So you can see I'm starting to go through this a little bit quicker now, because uh, the real hard part in this that you need to work out is your molar mass, doing this over here. Okay. Once you get your molar mass, making sure you use all the right number of atoms, okay, it's pretty easy to plug that value up here into your equation. Okay, it's, it's not it's not complex. All right, so really focus on doing your molar masses, getting them correct. I'm going to show you one that's a little bit different to finish off with. So I'm going to go to a different color here, um, and I found this rainbow color, so I'm just going to go with rainbow just to make it a bit more fun. So we've got 10 micro moles, okay, of um, and I'm doing CH2Cl2, so that's dichloromethane. Okay, so again, I'm still going to use number of moles equals mass times molar mass. All right, so we need to work out the molar mass of dichloromethane firstly. So we've got one carbon, which is 12.01. Okay, we've got two hydrogens, which is 1.008. And we've got two chlorines, which are 35. Whoops, no, right, three, sorry. So 30. 5.453. When you add all those up, you get a molar mass of 84.932 grams per mole. So that's fairly straightforward. What might stump you though here is this 10 micromoles that we've got over here. Okay. So to calculate number of moles, we've got 10 micromoles. Now a micromole is 10 to the minus 6 moles. So you've got um, millimoles, which is 10 to the minus 3, and you've got micromoles, which is 10 to the micro, minus 6. And you could end up going, if you uh, if they went really small in terms of the amount, to nanomoles, which is 10 to the minus 9. But micro here is 10 to the minus 6. So we've got that many moles here. We want to multiply that by the molar mass of 84.932. So when you calculate that all out together, you can answer 1.18 times 10 to the negative 7 moles. So this is a really, really small value, the sort of thing you'd find when you're doing really small injections of something. Okay? Dichloromethane up here is a really common solvent, um, so it might be um, some gas chromatography or something like that where you're injecting a really small amount in. So a micromole here, a micromole is 10 to the minus 6 moles, a millimole is 10 to the minus 3 moles. So you can use both of those values. 
All right, let me know what you think of the rainbow pen. Should I use it? Shouldn't I use it? Is it too distracting? Um, at least I'm entertained. Um, hopefully this has been fairly straightforward for you again. As always, if you've got any questions, just ask. Thanks, guys.